Hello Braille class, today we're going to be doing some handwriting practice focusing on our first family of letters. So today we're going to be practicing and you're going to be using the workbooks that I've provided you with to practice writing the letters I, L, T, J, U and Y. Let's have a go. So, first of all, really important, when you are doing your handwriting you need to make sure that you're sat in a chair upright that your feet are on the floor so you're not going back on your chair or leaning sideways that the um, hand that you write with is holding your pencil or pen correctly and the best way to do that is if you grab your thumb and your index finger you make like a point like this if you get your pencil or pen and put it the wrong way around so like this and then you flick with the other hand it over you will then be using the correct pencil grip okay so let's try that again to so get your thumb in your um, index finger make a little pinch like that get your pen or your pencil get the end where you'll be writing from pointing towards you flip it over the other hand and then you'll be holding it correctly so i'm going to be using pen today you've probably got pencil at home which is fine um and we're going to go through the first letter so the first letter we're going to be writing is the letter i so you can see that one here and we are going to be using our sparkle mark to help us to remember it so we're going to be doing slide incy wincy down the drain and flick him onto the dot. So slide incy wincy spider down the drain and flick him onto the dot. So I want you to see whether you can say that sparkle mark while you are writing it. That will help you remember to do your little flick and take your pen off and do your. We can do one here. So in the middle. Slide incy wincy spider down the drain and flick him on to the dot. So you can see here that my eye is sitting on the line. Now here I have done an eye. However, there's something slightly different. And I want you to see whether you can see the difference between these two and this one. You might be able to see it slightly. This one is slightly in the air, so that one is wrong. They have got to be exactly the same size. And also, this one here is a little bit bigger than this one. So this one's incorrect. It's really important that we're trying to get all of our eyes to be exactly the same size. So we're taking our time. We're not doing loads of eyes altogether. They've got to look the same. So I'm going to see exactly where it is. And I'm going to say my sparkle mark. So slide incy wincy spider down the drain and flick him onto the dot. And you can see now that my flick is slightly bigger on this one, so I might extend my flick. I want them to look exactly the same. I don't want larger ones. I don't want ones not on the line. They need to look the same. Now we're going to see whether we can write a letter L. So the letter L is an at sender. That means it starts right at the top. So if I start from this one, right at the top, and our sparkle mark is watch the lazy ladybird crawl down the leaf and flick away. Watch the lazy ladybird crawl down the leaf and flick away. Watch the lazy ladybird crawl down the leaf and flick away. So you can see here, my flick was slightly bigger that time, so I've adapted that one. Watch the lazy ladybird crawl down the leaf and flick away. So you want the flicks to be exactly the same, it's going straight down. If I did one that was like this, it would be wrong. You can see the flick is way too big and it's not as tall as it needs to be. Also, if I did one like this, it's not sat on the line. So you've got to make sure that your letter L's are sat on the line. Now, now, once your formation of your letter L is perfect and all your letter L's look exactly the same, you can make the size of it a little bit smaller. But when we're first starting off, we need to realise that it's an ascender, so it needs to be larger than letters that aren't ascenders. So you might end up doing an L like that, but then your A would be half of that size, or it may be even a little bit smaller. So you can see my ascender is a lot larger in size than my normal curly letters. So that's really important. Now we're going to see whether we can practice our our letter t so our sparkle mark is tap dance down and flick 
then slide across. Now our letter T is an at sender, that means it's up at the top, like the letter M. So we want tap dance down and flip, then slide across. Tap dance down and flip, then slide across. Again, like I said about the letter L, once the children are really happy with all their letters looking the same size and they're sat on the line properly, you can make that T a little bit smaller. So tap, dance, down and flip, then slide across. Now we're going to practice our letter J. And our letter J is a D sender. That means its tail goes underneath the line. So hopefully you can see this line here. That tail goes underneath and wraps back round. So our sparkle mark is slide down the jelly around the plate and pop a cherry on the top. So same size, slide down the jelly around the plate and pop a cherry on the top. And see whether we can do another one. So slide down the jelly around the plate and pop a cherry on the top. Again, like I said, once the formation of those J's is perfect, the children can make them a bit smaller using exactly the same formation, but they can make them a smaller size as long as it descends underneath. Next up is our letter U, and hopefully you can see that there. It's not an ascender or a descender. So our sparkle mark that we're going to be using is go under the underpants, pull them up, down and flip them in the air. Ooh, we definitely don't want underpants in the air, do we? So making sure they're exactly the same size, leave a space. Go under the underpants, pull them up, down and flick them in the air. So trying to make sure they're the same size, trying to make sure the flicks are the same. And again, once the children are more confident, they can make them a little bit smaller. Just like that. Letter Y. And our letter Y is a D sender. That means its tail is going underneath. So it's exactly the same as when you're doing your letter U at the beginning. But instead of going down and flicking, you're going underneath and flicking round. And our sparkle mark is tickle under Yeti's chin and then slide down his arm. Let's see whether we can do that. So you want them exactly the same size. Tickle under Yeti's chin and then slide down his arm. And we're doing our flick. Again, once the children are confident and comfortable writing their letter Y, they can make it a bit smaller. Just make sure that, that tail goes underneath the line. Just like that. So see whether now you can use my worksheet, find the letters that we've practised today and see whether you can write all of those letters neatly on the lines.